Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, happy Memorial Day <clears throat> to all the veterans of this nation. Thank you so much for your service. Uh, today is the kickoff to the last week of my Empowered Mindset May series, where every day I've been bringing you strategies to help you thrive during this pandemic. So for those of you that I don't know, good morning. My name is Patricia Chimino. I'm an empowerment coach and I help people take their purpose, their passion and their experience to pivot and shift into the best next chapter of their lives. So if you've seen any of my lives, thank you for watching. If you haven't, you can go back down in my feed or go to my YouTube channel at Patricia Chimino and I've got the whole month listed there. Now today, I wanna share with you how to overcome resistance and thrive. So if you look up the definition of resistance, it states that it's the refusal to accept or comply with something. And I really believe that resistance is one of the sneakiest emotions that we have. Sneakiest because resistance hides. It hides behind excuses, it hides behind procrastination, it hides behind distractions. And what it really just boils down to is a mental game. It's a mental game that we can override. So I wanna share with you three strategies for how to overcome resistance and flourish. And the first one is as simple as asking yourself, why? Why am I resisting X, Y, or Z? Why? And then listen to how you are responding to that question. Whatever you are responding to that question with is your thinking, right? So if you're responding with, I don't want to be judged. I don't want to fail. I'm afraid to succeed, right? It could be anything. It could be from starting a business to asking a question in a meeting or reaching out to someone to network with them. When there's that stone wall of resistance, you need to ask yourself why, and then listen for the answers that you are giving yourself to see what it is that you are thinking in that moment. The second strategy builds on the first one, and it is to take your power back once you see what you are thinking and believing. Take your personal power back by Simply saying this out loud, telling resistance to go sit in the corner, you've got it under control. In essence, taking the diaper off and putting the big girl or big boy panties on and doing what you need to do, the thing that you are resisting, right? And then the third strategy, which builds on the second one, is to take action. Evaluate, tweak, Take action again. Evaluate, tweak. Doing that repetitively. Anything you do repetitively like that will build the resist, will uh, deconstruct the resistance. It will start to fade away and it will not even be something you're resisting anymore. So I wanted to share a quote that actually I came up with called, and it goes like this Once you let go of resistance, change is on fertile ground. So just to recap, three ways that you can overcome resistance to flourish is first to ask yourself why, listen to what you are saying, listen for your response. Number two, take your personal power back, tell resistance to sit in the corner, you've got it under control. And number three, take action, evaluate and tweak. So resistance is one of the things that gets in the way for so many people to live the life they really want to be living. Whether it's going after a dream or going after a really big goal, there is a wall of resistance that is hiding behind excuses 
or behind distractions that will not get you to where you want to go. And a lot of times you can't even see that. So it's like you're in a bottle and you can't see the label on the outside, but the person on the outside, a coach or a mentor can see that and they can help you and point out to you what is happening. So if you feel like you are stuck in that place and you want to take this and work through this, this is exactly what I do. So reach out to me. I can invite you to a coaching consult and we can talk about where resistance is bubbling up for you and how that can totally be eradicated through coaching. Okay, guys, have an amazing day. <laughs> Hi, Missy. Thanks for joining. Happy Memorial Day. Go back and watch from the beginning. Have an amazing day, everyone. I hope you guys have wonderful barbecues. We're getting washed out here in Southeast Florida, but we're still going to make it a great day. I hope you do too. I'll see you back here tomorrow at 830 Central, 930 Eastern Time with more strategies for you. Have a great day.